Hello students, myself Professor M.C. Murugesh. Welcome to video course Engineering Drawing. Session, Section of Solids and Development. Before I move further with the session, please watch the introduction video on Section of Solids and Development with Basic Problems. Video link is in the description below. And also subscribe to my channel Mac Learners Academy to get notifications and updates when a new video is uploaded to the channel. Thank you. I have considered a square prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm having one of its rectangular faces leaning to the right at an angle of 30 degrees to VP. It is cut by a cutting plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 60 degree to its axis. The cutting plane passes through the axis at the mid height that means bisecting the axis of the prism. Develop the lower portion of the lateral surfaces of the square prism. This is the problem. We will see how to solve it step by step. First step orthographic projection xy since we are following first angle of projection system or first quadrant system vertical plane comes above xy front will be there below xy horizontal plane top will be there as per the condition given in the problem we will draw the top view because it is resting on hp they have said 30 degrees to vp which i have underlined in the problem 30 degrees to VP means angle 5 which comes below XY. Draw a line, construction line with the help of protractor measure 30 degree and then introduce the square which sits on the 30 degree line. You know how to construct square prism. See that it is constructed on 30 degree line which satisfies the given condition in the problem. Then notations. We have to follow the projections of solids. How to do it? It has got four top corners A, B, C, D which is visible. Four bottom corners which cannot be seen by the observer. Hence they are represented in brackets A1, B1, C1 and D1. Draw diagonal to get the center of the square. From their intersection of these two lines. Draw a vertical projector and then the axis. The axis height is equal to 60 mm equal to the height of the prism. Remaining vertical projectors. Then carefully draw the front view. I will use my cursor. For the observer he can see A, A1. I have drawn it. He can see B, B1. I have drawn it. Next is C, C1 which can be seen. D, D1 is away to the observer. Where I have placed my cursor here, observer is positioned. To this observer, D, D1 cannot be seen. Hence, it is represented as dashed lines. Yes, I have taken another example. Here, uh, the top view is 30 degree incline. If it is parallel to reference line, you will be writing top view and front view like this. If it is inclined at 45 degree, you would have written like this. Means edge condition, corner condition, top views and respected front views. So this is the difference between this. Carefully analyze the problem, get the data given accordingly, draw the top and front views. So do the notation A dash, A1 dash, B dash, B1 dash, C dash, C1 dash which are visible to the observer. D dash and D1 dash away to the observer represented in bracket. So it tells that, here you can see that this uh, it is cut by a cutting plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 60 degrees to its axis means theta, theta comes above XY. So 60 degrees to its axis, let me clean the area, then yes, where is the axis? Here you have got 5 lines, carefully come to the axis, how to identify, go to the top view find the center from there 
projection line and this is the axis and uh, total height is 60 in the problem they have said that bisecting the axis means total height is divided by 2 mid of the axis so here at this midpoint I have marked which is equal to bisecting the axis 30 mm from the base at this point take the protractor and measure an angle did you see I will repeat the animation I have taken the reference as axis and 0 degree uh, 20 30 40 60 degree like this and this is 60 degrees to axis 30 degrees to xy total 90 degree and draw a line this is the way to represent the cutting plane or sectional plane so it has not completely covered the prism or the front view I will do that extend this okay like this so I have satisfied the condition the cutting plane is making an angle 60 degrees to the axis now it has cut the entire prism yes named it as cutting plane I have created a table in order to understand where all this cutting plane has cut the edges so here uh, two things one is side and cutting point number carefully observe a dash a1 dash I will use my cursor where it is here as it has been cut by cutting plane let me mark a point and tell it as 1 dash by red dot here in the front view I have marked a red dot a dash a1 dash I will go to the top view a a1 here it has cut so let me give a number as 1 the front view 1 dash in the top view 1 like this come back to the table b dash b1 dash in the same order you have to go after a a1 b b1 here yes it has cut by the cutting plane and uh, it has been noted as 2 dash red dot here and red dot below and it has been given as 2 and 2 dash after b is c c1 come to the table c dash c1 dash and it is cutting point as 3 dash red dot here red dot here 3 dash and 3 next after c c1 is d d1 which is on the hidden line as 4 dash so which has to be represented in bracket 4 dash and this is 4 so 4 vertical edges cutting plane has cut at 4 points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash which has been represented in the table this one is called as sectioned front view and you have to do the hatching what is hatching I will come back this is the top view how to identify as we have said in the introduction to engineering graphics it is the language which can communicate in order to tell that this square prism is cut how to do the representation like we have got continuous thick line projection line hidden line axis line like that this is hatching which is 45 degrees to the boundary and leave some space and draw it so this represents or tells that this object or the square prism is cut or sectioned called as sectional top view Okay, I'll clean the area then you know that second step development of lateral surface of square prism I'll take the help of XY and draw a horizontal line how many sides square prism four sides side size 30 mm so 30 into 4 120 mm so then I'll take the height yes I will extend this height is equal to the prism height which is 60 mm draw a vertical line can you make an observation both the front view and the development are done at projection line or thin line it is strictly has to be done like this why because you will come to know at the end of the problem then 34 sides do the naming no restriction to convert into small letters as it is a development a a1 b b1 c c1 
D D1 A A1 because when you cut and fold it back A A gets connected A A1 gets connected. Then plot the cutting points on development. How many cutting points are there? You saw in the table four vertical edges, four cutting points. I'll bring back the table. So I'll use my cursor. A dash A1 dash is one dash. The reason for using the height and writing the same here because I can extend here means the arrow mark tells first one from this draw an horizontal projector until it touches A A1 mark a dot and call it as cutting point as one. Next second arrow on the B dash B1 dash two dash is the cutting point. Add two dash draw a horizontal line until it touches B B1 mark a dot and make it as two. Next here come to the table next C dash C1 dash which is having cutting point three dash. So come here very careful C dash C1 dash three dash here from this dot draw an horizontal line until it touches C C1 put a dot. And give cutting point as three. Next, last one, D dash D one dash cutting point as four dash. Come here, where the hidden line. Go to this dot from here. Draw an horizontal line until it touches D D one. Mark a dot. Give the cutting point as four. Last one. Here you can see in the table. I use this means come back to A dash A one dash, which has got cutting point as one dash. <coughs> Sorry. So where is one dash here? Draw extend this horizontal line until it touches this last line A A one. Put a dot and give the cutting point as one. So we got all the four cutting points. Now here comes develop lower portion of the prism. If you go back to the problem, develop the lower portion of the lateral surface of the prism. This is what the needed. So that's why intentionally. I did the development in thin line or projection line so that I can differentiate it. Then now draw the horizontal with thick line here also from the base to this point one dash here also wherever cursor is moving two dash two three dash three then fourth point hidden and last one one. Now join to one to two, two to three, three to four, four to one. Yes, all the continuous thick line is the development of the lateral surface of square prism, which is the lower portion. Above, which is thin, which is removed, it is the upper portion of the prism. So this is the line convention method. Hope you understood it. <coughs> I have taken one more problem. A square prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on HP on its base, with all the vertical faces being inclined, sorry, equally inclined to VP. It is cut by an inclined plane 60 degrees to HP and perpendiculars to VP, and is passing through a point and the axis at a distance 45 mm from the base. Draw the development of the lower portion of the prism. Two steps. First step, orthographic projection. X Y line. Since we are following first angle of projection of first quadrant system, V P comes above X Y. Front will be there. Uh, H P comes below X Y. Top will be there. It is said that the square prism is resting on H P with base. Like that, all vertical faces equally inclined. Equally inclined means forty-five degree. Draw a construction line. Use protractor. Make an angle forty-five degree. On that forty-five degree, construct square. Then draw the diagonals to get the center point. Side size thirty mm. Name the corners. Draw vertical projector. Axis height equal to sixty as given in the problem. Then draw vertical projectors. Three vertical line. Axis line is covered by the visible edge. 
do the notations since the observer can see a a1 a dash a1 dash b b1 can be seen hence b dash b1 dash behind b b1 you have got d d1 hence they are represented in brackets d dash d1 dash c c1 can be seen by observer c dash and c1 dash both front view and top view has been done in thin line or projection line so that once we introduce cutting plane a retained portion is made as thick removable portion is made as thin then now time to introduce the cutting plane at a distance 45 mm from the base i'll go to the problem 45 mm from the base total height is 60 so from base i will measure a distance of 45 mm as i move the cursor i'll stop here 60 minus 45 left out portion is 15 so from top i have made a measurement of 15 draw an horizontal line it has to meet the axis mark a dot take the protractor and measure an angle 60 degree and introduce the cutting plane this is the convention of section plane or cutting plane then it has cut the front view or the square prism we will see which are all the points here a dash a1 dash 1 dash let me come to the top view a a1 as 1 next you have to go in the order which I have told after a a1 we have got b b1 yes the cutting plane has cut b dash and b1 dash which we can name cutting point as 2 dash I will come to the top view at this point name it as 2 after b b1 we have got c c1 but instead of it has cut at that it has cut in between b dash and c dash as you can see in the front view let me name this as 3 dash drop a vertical line from there so b to c as you can see in the top view b to c it has cut at 3 but it has not only cut at b to c since this line has passed between c and d so i have to name this as fourth point i'll go to the front view 3 dash has already been named 4 dash is behind it that means c dash and d dash which i'll represent in bracket next the last one d d1 d dash d1 dash yes you can see in the top view i name it as 5 so which is back side to 2 dash i have to represent in the bracket 5 dash so i got 5 cutting points now let me transform into the retained portion and removal portion with all the thick lines since this uh, is okay top view what all I observer can see it has been done yes and do hatch it so when I do the hatching this is called a sectional top view and upon is called a sectioned front view after getting this let us do the second step development of lateral surfaces of solid I will take the help of reference line which is xy and do extend it since it is a square prism of side size 30 mm 4 sides 4 into 30 is equal to 120 mm as you can see the red line I have drawn over the construction line to restrict into 120 mm then draw the vertical line which is equal to the prism height or the axis height which is 60 mm I will take the help of the front view height then four vertical sides and get the development of the lateral surface of square prism but as you can see in the front view there are five cutting points let us mark it on the development before that we have to name it a a1 b b1 c c1 d d1 and back a a1 next first point i'll use my cursor Cutting point is 1 dash, draw vertical projector until it touches A, A1. Mark a red dot and call cutting point as 1. 
Second one on B dash, B1 dash. From this red dot, draw a horizontal line. <coughs> Excuse me. Until it touches B, B1. And call it as cutting point 2. Next, here this is slightly changed to that of the earlier problem. Then how it has to be solved? Instead of taking this the help of front view, let me take the help of top view. Because 3 and 4 lie on the same line. What is the method adopted? As I told, I will come to the top view. I have already marked the cutting point 2. Now I have to mark 3 and 4. For which I will measure the dimension. Yes. From 2 to 3, what is the dimension? That I will measure. Then I will have this dimension and come here because this is the side B and C. I will come over here. So and mark the third point. Hope you understood. From B, I measured this distance up to 3. Same dimensions I have brought here. From B, I have measured it, put a dot and named it as 3. Same method has to be adopted for 4. I will go for the corner D, measure the dimension up to 4. I will come here where D is there. From there, mark the dimension, have a dot and get the 4. So now, extend this to get the next point. That is 5th point, where it is, which is on D and D1. As you can see, phi dash is in the bracket, the D, extension of the second line until it touches D, D1 and name it cutting point as phi. And finally, A to A1, which is 1. Extend this cutting line 1 to get the last point 1. Now, to join all the points. Before that, they have asked, develop lower portion of the prism that is retain, which has to be done with thick lines. That is the convention. Removable part in thin lines. Yes, all the vertical lines, horizontal line, connect from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, back to 1 and lastly the horizontal line. Hope you understood to do the development of lateral surfaces of the square prism. Thank you.